You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, Keith. From the AfterBuzz studios in Los Angeles, California, and streaming live on Ustream, this is AfterBuzz TV for Bachelor. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest Bachelor news and gossip. If you'd like to buzz in on tonight's show, you can buzz us at 424-256-1729. That's 424-256-1729. And now, picking up where the show leaves off, and the buzz continues, it's After Buzz TV for Bachelor. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, he loves me. <laughs> he loves me not. Oh, my gosh. Hey, guys. Well, love, Lauren Kids. Welcome to the Bachelor <laughs> After Show. This, Yes, this is where you're going to get your nitty-gritty dirt of what's going on in all of the Bachelor world. And tonight, guys... We've got skinny dipping, we've got a <laughs> yes. surprise ejection, and Courtney versus the world. But first, let me talk about our hosts. Tonight I'm joined by the most, I seriously get like the most beautiful co-hosts every week. And tonight, there's no exception, we have Jenna Couture. Hello. Hello, Jenna. She is an intimacy and relationship expert. Yes. And before I get my, forgive me, balls busted, I have someone on the phone. <laughs> Who, if I do not introduce, you'll probably set me on fire. That is Candon Bliss. <laughs> What's up, Candon? Hello. What's Sorry, I can't be there tonight. I'm actually two hours ahead of you guys, so I'm staying up past my bedtime. You're like to, in the uh, future. Be with everybody tonight, but I wouldn't miss it for the world. So wait, you're like in the future. You're like two hours ahead. I'm like totally in the future. Oh my God! So you can totally tell us what happened. You knew about the bachelor oh, before. I can tell you what I can tell you what happened two hours ago. She was tweeting <laughs> me the whole. She was tweeting me. Oh my God! She's like, "You're gonna die. You're gonna die." And I. Did, I know. It's I, bad. Now I know why my mom spoils it for me every week. It's so hard. It's hard not to be like, "Oh my gosh, what do you think?" Immediately, even though you haven't watched it yet, it drove me crazy. I'm surprised I don't get uh, Twitter spoilers on Twitter when I'm tweeting. Like they don't. Really? Release any of that? I'm always waiting for them to be like, "Oh, that girl got voted off" or anything. No. Well, it's just like maybe I... people, maybe people on the East Coast and in the South, because I'm in Alabama right now. They don't really know how to tweet yet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm teaching. I'm pretty much a California thing. <laughs> I was just drinking some tea. You almost made me spit it out. Like seriously, that was you're you're up. Okay, you're gonna hate me, but you, that's like a Courtney zinger right there. And I know how much you love Courtney. <gasps> She does not like Courtney oh my gosh. at all. Can we, just, can we just talk about how much I don't like her? But it, anyway, you, that, my family, I watched it with my family tonight, and they're like, oh, you like Courtney, huh? <laughs> like, yeah, I can't tell. <laughs> but we got a fan here. See, I, Courtney won me over tonight. Uh-oh. I'm them's, sorry. Them's uh -oh. are fighting words. All is fair in love and war, and she plays. she's she's playing for what she wants. I like that. She's playing dirty. That's from the expert. Well, well. That's right, the dating expert. Okay, so okay, we've done the intros, and of course, the lovely Phil Svitek in the background. I always forget to say his name, and I'm such a sucky host, and I'm sure I'm going to get my pink slips soon enough from after. Yeah, you're, you're, yeah. Okay. let's not even talk about that. <laughs> Really? That's, okay. That's for after hours. Turkey. All right. All right. Hey, let's just jump into the show. Let's start off with the beautiful landscape of Puerto Rico. Yeah. Gorge. Was it? Was it not? Loved it. One of my favorite places to visit. Hey, oh, you've been? Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm kind of jelly right now. All right. Now, did I've he... never been. You've never been? I've never, I've never been. <laughs> oh, wow. I got, I got, I got the pun. <laughs> God, you're ridiculous. Are you, are you sure? <laughs> you're terrible. All right. Now, what did you guys think? Did you think this was just setting up the fantasy, of course, as The Bachelor does every week? Just setting up the scenario, the romance, the beach, the tropical heat, the dancing in the rain. And I mean, seriously, come on. They're like emotional vampires on this damn show. But I love it. I love every minute of it. <laughs> I do. No, but what happened on the first date? He gets the date card with... Nikki. Yep. Nikki. Jenna does not like Nikki. Boring. Come on. Really? Candon? 
I, you don't like her? Boring. And she's been divorced. Aww. Nothing against divorced people. I thought people. she was sweet. I, I thought she was cute, and I think that she was very attractive at the beginning of the show, like in the first few episodes, and then she kind of got, like, not as cute, and we decided that she was kind of getting swept under the rug. But she kind of came out for me this time. I think that it was her attitude on that date was, I think, what won me over. Just, like, if it started raining on me on a date, I'd be like, are you kidding me? My mascara's running everywhere. I am not even cute right now. My hair's all a mess. And she just was went with it and, and went with the flow, and I think she really respected that about her. Um, I do think that she's a little bit, maybe, I got, I got the vibe that she was more serious about Getting like married. getting married again than maybe mm-hmm. he is. Well, see, and that's the. I wanted to bring that up right away. I don't know if you guys have noticed that Ben seems like his his attitude seems like it's changing a little bit, and I don't know if it's just because it's Courtney. He, no, He's you think love. it's Courtney? I think, love. but but he has all these women just pining for him, and now is he maybe rethinking possibly falling in love? The reason why he came to the show was to fall in love. No, you're right. He did seem to flip a switch there as to where he was Mr. Emotionally yeah. Available and now he's like, right. I don't, it overwhelmed me to look at the wedding and it scared me. Right. You know, I noticed yeah. like the girls are stepping it up and he's kind of like stepping back. It's, he's like glossing over. Is His eyes look he glazed totally, over. He's totally glossing over and I really think it has to do, just like you said, Jenna, with, with Courtney in a way that I think she She's not there to fall in love. She's there to win. Yeah. And no, that's I my opinion. That. And I think I think she's making that very clear that she's there to win and she's there to get what she wants, but that doesn't necessarily mean to fall in love. Wow. And or I think ben, ben came into it wanting to fall in love. And then this whole episode he was very like standoffish. Maybe he's in this like, oh, she's just fun and like wants to have fun and be kind of I don't I don't know, it's like this whole spontaneous whimsical thing and it has nothing to do with falling in love (sighs) well see that's the thing Courtney has something going for her she's interesting Nikki nothing Mm -hmm. like there's nothing interesting what makes Courtney interesting is are you uh, is this something you see from your your vast training or uh... well she can catch a fish you know what? We brought it That's up last week. We thought you know, that you know what? The producer totally planted that fish. I'm standing by that. There's no way that girl caught a real fish. Okay, really? Candon, I got to tell you something now. Now, Jenna is of the rose tinted glasses perspective. She she really believes in the show. So, like right now, you got to be kid gloves here. The fact that you said this about the fish, her eyes just like got totally bug eyed and she's like freaking out. Uh-oh. So we don't we don't we don't want to jade her just yet. No, I totally do believe everything that happens on this show. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> it's cute though. You know what? I used to believe it too until I until I moved to LA. I told when I was sitting here in my Alabama bedroom like I am right now, <laughs> watching the bad show with my mom, it was totally one hundred percent, Oh my gosh, is this so wonderful and perfect and real and I just love it and now I think I'm a little bit more of a cynic, but not quite. I still believe that there are there is Cold good, spoiler alert but I also believe like there that. is bad. <laughs> no, no, you know it. It happens. It's it is. L. A. Sometimes does that to you, but hopefully, I, you, you never know how these shows are. How they build these shows. We're all dog and Ben. We're saying he's turned to the dark side and all this. And at the very end, he's probably going to end up with Casey. And I'm going to be mad. But in the end, it'll Yay. give I us redemption. Think ben ends up alone. Okay. I just have this feeling that he's not going to end up with anybody. We'll see. I mean, you know what? I thought I thought so too. But at the end of the show, they don't make it. At the end of tonight's episode, the prediction little look forwardness. It shows him holding a ring and saying he knows who he wants to be with for the rest of his life. Don't so it it's a little gothic the way they have the girl coming in in like this black feathered dress, like. Yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna yeah. be a little bit weirded out if well, that's really somebody that comes out in that dress. Yeah, because we don't know if that's the person he's gonna propose to. That could actually be the one that he says no that he exactly. isn't gonna propose to. Remember, they, remember, there's two girls at the end that come up to him and he he either proposes to one and right. he doesn't propose to the other ones so now you know even though he was glazed and you know we're thinking he's getting jaded and he's got all these women and it's Ben time not je- not to be confused with Jenna time but um I think Nikki did chip it she was so genuine and he he ended up giving her a rose because 
she she was really easygoing. She was okay. Now 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 Jenna's rolling her eyes. I can't win. I'm I'm hope I'm glad both of you guys aren't here on in the studio because I would have no chance against the two of you. It would be totally two against one. Yeah. His only saving grace was that he finally did send someone home, like and didn't give a rose away today. Oh, he's done that before. Yeah, I'm glad about that. Well, he sent that last girl last week. He sent that girl home, but there wasn't a rose at stake. They weren't on a one-on-one -on -one date. He's been giving right. that rose out to Left everybody, and, right. and he was waving it around tonight. Oh, that was so bad. Okay, we're, you're teasing it. Yeah, he. If if you guys didn't watch the show, he's waving around the the rose on on one of his on one of the girls on one of the one-on-one -on -one dates. He's like, mm. and he's like, it's like a like a like a like a bone. He's like yeah. shaking the bone and like. He doesn't end up giving the bone to the contest. I mean, the rose to the <laughs> contestants. So it was. Yeah, so that bad. was really bad. I was kind of confused at why he would even pick the rose up. I know. Why did he even knew touch he it? He wasn't going to give it. Like, yeah. just leave it alone. Mm -hmm. Don't even like pick Don't it up and it. taunt her with it. All right. So, you know, Nikki's done. She's here. She's safe for another week. So we move on to the group date, the baseball. Mm -hmm. Anything I loved this date. I absolutely adored this date. Really? <laughs> because I played soft I played softball and I think it was really it was really cool to see them like do something not like just sitting there in a cocktail party being on the show. You know, they actually had to like work and do something and kinda <laughs> let us see their personality work. in a totally different setting. And I mean, I was happy about it. I felt really bad for the girls that lost, and I hated that Courtney's team won. But I did <laughs> like that Casey B was on her team, which, so her that team... meant she got to be with Ben. Yeah, I thought the red team was way more fun, and they might. I think if anything, they might have strategically done that because the Basically. black team mm -hmm. was like. They were cute. A loser dog. I, I did say yeah. The, the the red team was a little hotter. They were they had hotter girls. Yeah. yeah. It was no like. Yeah. But with that said, you know, you uh, Jenna brought up a great point during the show, and that was about these group dates, like let's say the skiing and the bikinis and the baseball. They're great and fun, but are they good for the show, for the purpose of the show? Because what int intimacy do you build up in a baseball game? You know, right. there's connections. Nobody got to really talk to Ben. Right. And they're all just like fighting no. and sweating for him. And it was not, it wasn't anywhere close to any Twilight baseball. But oh, I mean, it, was okay. yeah. it wasn't an attractive. It wasn't an attractive date, I guess. No, and they didn't get to really talk to him. And it's all it looked like at the end of the date. It seemed like desperation. Like we're just fighting so hard to get Ben and right. more time with Ben. And it's yeah, like, I do think geez. it was pretty pathetic. The team that the team that lost. I mean, the whole crying. And I I was really disappointed in Blakely's attitude at the yeah. end of that because. She totally just showed a nasty side to her when she was like, "You should all just. I hope you all just throw up." <laughs> I know. I'm like, that, are you kidding me? That was bad. They okay. were jumping around just as hard as you were. <laughs> you know, I mean, maybe they're not as good, and maybe you didn't pick the best team, but that's your fault. <laughs> okay, once again, uh, here I go defending Bake Blakely again. I'm okay. not a Blakely fan, even after tonight. I was like. You know what? But uh, Candace hated her from the beginning, and a lot of people have very strong opinions towards Blakely. But ever since that episode about three or four weeks ago, where she was just like the bad girl, and she's been like kind of like keeping it low, low profile last few weeks. But she was just really competitive. She was being really competitive, not for the not not to in the sake of winning Ben, but she was she's she was competitive and in, in, she's athletic. She wanted to compete. She wanted to win because she wanted to get close to Ben. She opened up mm -hmm. to Ben. She she was we saw a softer side of Blakely tonight. Mm -hmm. You know, she really wanted to mm -hmm. get to know him. She she wasn't like a few weeks ago when she took him to the jacuzzi and like oh I'm gonna like pull it, drag you into the jacuzzi. No, she totally she, eat her. She was gonna like eat his face. Not this week, but <laughs> granted, I will give you that comment at the end that she was kind of mean <laughs> to the girls, but. I just you know I don't think she's gonna win per se, but no, but you know. She she's she's giving it a good go, and yeah. I'll leave it at that. Yeah. But I, now, I think Courtney won me over at the baseball game though. Like when she said, "What would she say? Rub some dirt on it." I'm a baseball girl. I nice. love baseball. Yeah, Rub some cool. dirt on it. Walk it off. I was like, I don't know if she's getting fed these lines. She's, but I think so. Really? She's got too many. Oh, like, yeah. She's got way she's too many actress. lines. No, no, no. She she's ran, an actor. She's got way too many. Now, can you guys explain? Because I was I was a little ADD. Why did he give KCB the rose? During the baseball um, game. I think the rose was supposed to go to her last week. 
What was that, Cannon? Say that one more time. I think the rose was supposed to go to her last week, and he she he ended up giving it to Courtney because she right. needed yeah. it. Yeah. But I think I mean he took Casey B to his room and gave her some reassurance, and you yeah. know, so I think he was like, okay, this rose is definitely going to her. So once again, yeah, I agree. I think that that's what it, I think she got gypped last week, and then this <laughs> week. But I mean, I think that it was right after they had their little talk or whatever. I mean, I was a little surprised. I mean, I'm glad that she got the rose, but I was a little surprised. Like, I didn't see it coming, you know? Mm -hmm. Now, um, with that said, uh, you know, KCB got the bros. Yay. Yay for the good. Because they're, Yay. like we said, they're setting up that Titanic tilt. It's going to be, we're saying these four. I'm saying these four. It's going to be like Casey versus Courtney or Blakely versus Lindsay. You know, like good versus evil. Do you think Blakely's going to make it? I don't think so. But I'm just saying, I think Courtney and Blakely are kind of interchangeable. Really? I've said that from the beginning because they were both kind of like the villain, like, like the villains of the group. I think Courtney will go to top three. Okay. Oh, yeah, I think, Court, I think maybe top, top well, two. we can do predictions later, but I have my top three that I think is going to be top three. Okay, but now speaking of our favorite girl, Courtney, she pulls a robbery. Yeah, right after he gives uh, Casey B the rose, he uh, Courtney pulls him out. Because after the baseball game, of, uh, we failed to mention him, whoever won the game got a nighttime date with Ben, and the other girls got mm -hmm. to go home and sulk at their ultra-luxurious hotel. At the W, fantastic, but um, yeah, Courtney pulls Ben into the in, out to the beach, out to the sand, and lets him know. Yeah, but she also, I think that's where she run me over too, because she was like, "I need affection, like, and I'm gonna take it, like, I need this," and she went for it. So you think it's right what she's doing, like? I feel like it's all fair game. Like they could they could do the same exact thing to each other. She's just being more bold about it, and you're not there to make friends. Like you're there to get the guy. Mm -hmm. If you like it. They're also not there to take your clothes off. Maybe they are, though. Okay. Well, okay. okay. Can it, can it like, no. My perspective on this whole show will change if that's the only reason that they're there. Okay, Cannon, you brought up a good point that their, their clothes came off. <laughs> because, actually, Courtney teased Ben by letting him know that she wanted to go skinny dipping and perhaps she was going to steal him so that they could run and frolic in the ocean. But he just and had... And he was... Not quite as excited. Um, I mean, he was excited about it, but not in a very confident way. He was very like, uh-oh, I'm so freaked out. <laughs> yeah, I don't think he knew what to do there for a minute. Yeah. He, okay. I don't think he did either. And I, I mean, and I understand why. Obviously, he's a guy and, you know, some guys are pigs and they just want what's easy. And I think that that part of him came out. I and, did. you know, in my opinion... If I were any of those other girls, I'd be done. Me too. Completely. I would tap out. Completely done. I lost, I lost big points for Bing tonight. Like, well, we don't know if they've gone the, the, uh, skinny dipping yet, do we? Yeah, they did. Okay, I was just yeah, teasing Yeah, they did. <laughs> <laughs> we're like, yeah, they did. <laughs> the, they just want to get to the nitty gritty. Okay, yes, they went skinny dipping and we, we just think Courtney. We just have to get to their nitty gritty. We just can't, we just can't put your foot around. <laughs> all right, all right. So do we just want to bag the Elise date because it was kind of... <laughs> She laid yeah, it on the so Elise thick. Yeah, the Elise did not he didn't see it. And you know what? I don't understand why she was so caught off guard and, like, so surprised and shocked. She just kept talking about how she wanted to get married and engaged. I'm like, great, that's wonderful. But guess what? It's probably not with him. <laughs> yeah, you know? true. And she I'm like, just bad. because I'm here to get engaged, you well, should yeah. pick me and get engaged to me. <laughs> and everything I gave up for you. I didn't go to my best friend's wedding. I quit my job. She gave up her job at 24 Hour okay. Fitness. Hey, there's <laughs> over 300 locations. <laughs> Just so you know, at least you can come work out it. We got one in Hollywood. It's fantastic. You'd be great there. Yeah, no. that was bizarre. I I didn't understand her. Oh, but okay, but okay. We've been uh, we've been mean. I've been mean to at least. But you know what? She was very genuine. You, she was breaking down. What do you mean genuine? About the fact that she really wanted to fall in love, that she really was there for the right reason, that she gave everything up. It's not the smartest de decision, but... They should put her on Husband Hunters. Is there a show um, like that? No, know, they the need to create one for girls, the Bachelor Rejects. The, the thing about all these girls, like, saying, I gave up everything, I gave up so much oh. to be here, like, like that's, that's good and well and everything, but the reason you're there is not to just, like, give up things and be on the show and automatically, because you're on the show, you're going to win and go home. I mean, and not go home. It, it's like the purpose of the show is to see, like, are you yeah. actually compatible with this human? Well, that sounds and very scientific not, there, Candid. 
But, but if you're not compatible and it's just not right, then who cares what you gave up? It, you're not supposed to marry that person. I know. I would never say that. He was like so... What are you doing right now? <laughs> that okay, that both you this is so funny. Both you guys brought up the logical version of looking at this, but now remember we've got these producers that are building these fantasy situations. That seriously, oh. that's why they all fall for the bachelor or bachelorette for the most for the most part. You know, they like Puerto Rico, we're, we're jetting you off to Puerto Rico. We're going to dance in the rain. We're going to watch a wedding. We're going to I mean, carriage rides, all these things that they just these are amazing dates, and of course you're going to get swept in the moment. And plus, they don't have TV, they don't have phones, they don't have access to the outside world. They're cooped up in this house for, what, oh. maybe six weeks? Nothing? No. No, they, it, I, I, from, what I'm, from my intel, <laughs> uh, I've heard that they just, they, they're just they just isolated in the house. That's why there's a lot of just booze in the girls. Well, just a lot out. of reality shows, I mean, that's, that's like a reality show thing. <laughs> yeah, oh, really, it's a it staple. Is. It is. Yeah. So, so with that said, like you, you brought up a great point, Phil. That it happens in all these shows. So, but six weeks of you being cooped up in this house with one guy on these magical dates. Yeah, but you all see other guys girls. on the dates. I would be like, yeah, I just want to let you know, there's another guy walking over here. Okay. Well, you know what? Let me break something here. Um, do you do you guys want to know the? I'm gonna go back two weeks. Remember Miss Pacific Palisades, Samantha? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She actually was booted off. Well, yes, she and Ben didn't get along, but it's because she supposedly had a crush. She had a thing with one of the, I believe he's one of the producers of the show. Yeah, there was a little oh. thing going. They usually broadcast that. Yeah, no, but they, they kept it under wraps. I think you can find that like on wetpaint.com. And they were, Ooh, wet they were paint. yes, they were talking about that. What um, kind of website is that? Jesus. It's, a, <laughs> it's okay. a spoiler. Don't look at it. Yeah, don't. It's got a lot of spoilers, so I try not to look at that. But, um, uh, what? I'm just still laughing over the knee. Okay. No, but J yeah, I guess she and the producer had a little like I don't think anything I don't know if anything happened, but there was something there. And they want to keep they wanted to keep it under wraps because the producer's married and he has kids. Uh -oh. Yes, bachelor juice. Bachelor exclusive. Well, well. <laughs> Except now that we all know. I know we just broadcast it to the seven billion people that watch after Buzz TV. Yeah, and in case in case none of the news media or TMZ knew, now they know. <laughs> there we go. And while we're at it, don't forget to tweet us, guys, or actually give us a call at 424-256-1729, right? Yeah. Correct. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I took my ginkgo this week. All right. Now... Uh... I take my ginkgo every day. <laughs> now, we're, now, where were we? We were, uh, we were getting past Elise and whatnot, and the skinny dipping happened. But let's really get into that because the question I wanted to ask was... That's going to take a long time to figure out. Did they have sex? <laughs> they definitely had sex. Absolutely. 100%. And He's... that is disgusting and gross. Yeah. Why? Because would... the water's dirty or what? And you know what I hate? I cannot believe you would just take your clothes off and have sex in the ocean on camera. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Who does that? Well, now remember... Um, like Phil said, they have, they're, they're in, these, in the house. They have cameras on them all the time. You get used to the cameras. So you, but do you realize? Does he realize that that is going to be like he better marry Courtney now because if not, the rest of his life is going to be hell. Because whoever his because whoever his never gonna get over that it. he thinks he's going to marry is is never going to put up with that being on TV. I say he's single after tonight. They're watching The Bachelor tonight. If he picks somebody, yeah, they're single. He's single tonight. That's what Ooh. I said. That's exactly what I told my mom. I was like, you know what? Okay, let's just say he doesn't pick Courtney and KCB won, right? Mm -hmm. Let's say they're sitting here watching it right now tonight. What? It, it is she done. She hates him. That's what broke up Emily and Brad. It didn't show them having sex. They totally had sex. You guys are just, they no. They totally had sex. They totally we, had sex. And what I really hate about him after this episode. Oh, hate. Oh, yeah. Because he lost some major oh, yeah. points. I like it. I like Courtney now, but I hate Ben. <gasps> And uh -oh. he was like, I'm going to be so open with the girls. I thought he was going to like be up front and be like, hey, just want to let you guys know there was a little situation last night. We had an extra one-on-one -on -one date. Courtney and I slept together. And Why would he do that? Because that would be open and honest. But do you, you, why would he do that? And Think of it this way. If he says that, all hell would break loose in that house. Don't you think the, 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 the producers would have loved it? We would have loved it. But why would he say it would just create such chaos? Granted, yeah, because... He said he was going to be honest, though, and he said he felt nasty about last night. 
Well, no, no. Maybe he felt bad that he let go of Elise because it was no. emotional when he. Cannon, can you yes. please clarify what he felt nasty about? I yeah, thought I he, felt he felt nasty about the Courtney situation. I think he felt weird. I think he felt. I think he felt self-conscious about it. I mean, I really think that he, he was realized. A little flabby. I think he knows it was wrong. I if he was a he premature didn't ejaculator. Say no. He didn't say no because she was coming on to him, and he just let it happen. Well, and that just that shows he has no spine. No, but he, now, he, but remember when the second she walked out of that limo in the first episode, he was like, "Wow!" Yeah, when he Courtney said, walked out. I'm sorry, but I do not find her attractive. I don't think so. Ben does. I don't think so either. I mean, I don't think she's a very attractive girl. But she's a model. I think her eyes are, her What's this eyes girl's are name? I'm gonna I'm gonna verify the hotness. What what <laughs> do I type there in? There you go, Courtney Cor- Robertson. Courtney, all Dude, right. You guys I'll got, let you guys know. You guys got me sweating, Phil. You guys have to turn on the air because these girls are giving me the heat tonight. <laughs> Woo! I feel like a hooker in church, a Courtney in church. Woo, child. Okay, no, but um, okay. So they went skinny dipping, and granted, now you guys hate hate poor Ben, but. Let's get to the cocktail party because I think a lot of stuff happened there that, of course, always does. But tonight, it was like one after the other, like Jennifer opened up. Blakely, the, he, t- he had one-on-ones with each of these girls, but there was nothing there. On- nothing because he was all, he's all mm-hmm. in love with Courtney. He's in love. He's in love. He's in love. You got to swerve on that. He's in, he's yep. in love. He's in love. All right, news really flash, guys. News flash. Courtney is not that hot. She's Thank like a Katie you. Holmes kind of hot, Thank you know, you. if you're into that thing. But, if uh, you're into that thing. She needs but, to do side sweep bangs or something. Really? Like the part She's down the middle? She's like too plain. I mean, I like the fact that she cannot wear makeup and still look like normal, but I don't find her glamorous or attractive or like this sex pot i just don't get it but see here's the thing it's not she's not a sex pot for you jenna i mean candid can wait i just this is i'm so confused right now okay for candid she's not a sex pot for you or jenna or phil but ben likes her ben hey, thinks you she's a sex pot she had in her bra it's all fake i think ben is single <laughs> I know Jenna's been saying this the whole show. I think he's single. I don't know if that's. I don't know. I follow him on Twitter. I follow him on Foursquare. He's all over the place alone. Yeah, that's right. Because you you're always tweeting like the bachelors and bachelorettes. Or, yeah. You, know, you guys got a little communication yeah. going on with him. Sometimes he like tweets a sad face. To you? Just no, in general. In general? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think he's. Yeah. Oh, I totally think he's single. I think that even if he did choose Courtney, there's n- they're totally broken up. She's just doing it for like the publicity, the fame, publicity. and the media attention. Yeah. So, so you're calling her a second-rate Michelle Money? I yeah. Think Michelle absolutely. really likes Brad. Uh, but Michelle Money was, she was very performance-based. What was there based. not to like about Brad? Oh, wow. This is a different show. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to bring you back for Bachelor Pad. Maybe he'll be on that one. Look at you. She's blushing right now. If you guys could see, because I know a lot of pe- a lot of y'all are listening. But no, she is like redder than a tomato right now. It's really <laughs> cute and endearing. Now, um, Aww. okay. Well, now, a Brad Womack fan. Were you a Brad? Well, he has a twin brother. It's not the same. Okay, sorry. All right, <laughs> now getting back before, because Phil will turn on this little switch when we're off topic. So I'm like really, I'm, be, I'm see. Our systems detect that a host Damn has it. wandered off the subject. Please return at once. Damn it! Uh-oh. I'm sorry, Phil. All right. There's just so much that happened. It's like we we just have to cover it all. It didn't all happen in consecutive order. Okay. No, and, and that's why I'm trying to keep us on the task here. Now. Doing a good job. Mm-hmm, you're right. <laughs> no. Did Phil, Phil, were you laughing? No, that was that, me laughing. Oh, yeah, that was there you. you go. Hey, come on. Jeez, I'm getting it from all you guys. hosting over the phone thing's kind of rough. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a pro. That's why we love you, Candid. No, but I, wa- I want to bring up, actually, back to the show, Emily. Emily, who shot herself in the foot last week, and we she had a, oh she had a second God. opportunity for redemption. I can't believe she made it. And what did she do? She screwed the pooch again. I know, but he told her to tread lightly, and if some guy told me to tread lightly and to not bad talk another girl, I would be like, see ya, have fun with that girl. Like, I'm not yeah, about, exactly. like... Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I would be like, this this whole situation is weird and incestuous. Like, I don't, you know... She let him, she let him just, like, stomp on her. Yeah, I would have been like, you know what, and I, I'm done. It was bizarre. There was no respect there between either of them, mm-hmm. and I think it was really... I mean, it, she she really proved her immaturity... To just come and sit down and say, okay, so I'm really sorry. I'm never going to talk about this again because I really just want to focus on you and me. But I just want to make sure that you know 
Um, I'm going to go into this entire story one more time just to make sure you get my point. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and, I know. And, and we had talked about it, you know, uh, that I thought Emily would be a, a, a decent contender because she took things in stride at first. When Chantel showed up, she was the only one who kept her cool that night. Okay. I'm, I'm serious. Like, okay. No, I'm serious. And then, and then now she just like totally is just, she seems less mature than Casey, Casey B. Because Casey yeah. B. Also, yeah, Casey B. started to lose it. Yeah, she always, but she wasn't really in this episode that much. Was she really? Just that no. moment when he gave her the rose? Not too much. Because usually she's the one baseball, of the... baseball, that was it. Yeah, she's usually... She did one. say the B word. Bachelor? Oh, yeah, I heard she that. Said, I was no, like, hello. She said the B word on film. I was like, whoa, okay, good. I like that. So she, that's sweet. Baby. Yeah, I like I liked that little attitude she got. Yeah, it was like, she's not so nice. She's got curls. <laughs> and did you like the curls? Half row. <laughs> did you like her half row? No, oh, I like her straight hair, but... Yeah, I think we're all in yeah, agreement there. She showed some curls yeah, I like, tonight. I, Casey B, I, like I don't care. Her little, like, flipped under glamour hair. Like, straight, but kind of curly at the end. Yeah, I like that. Casey B, I don't care if you're in a burlap sack. I think you're fine. Yeah, I love Aww. her voice. I love her voice. She's cute. She's super cute. I love everything about her. All right, but now, uh, I, w- I want to ask you, of these girls, Jenna, who, like, who do you think is in it to win it? You know, I've, 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 you, that's there for the right reasons. Casey B. You think Casey B? I think Lindsay's there for the right reasons. I think. What about it is, what do you see? There just seems to be a genuine interest there. Outside of like, oh, I just want to get married. You know, like the other girls that just want to get married, they're laying it on so thick. And you don't even have to guess because they're, they'll tell you so many times so i feel like casey b hasn't said anything about really getting married you know i mean i think she said like i want to get married i want to find somebody but i feel like she genuinely has interest and shared interest with ben Mm -hmm. you know Mm -hmm. so in with that said um she did have the best i think they still had the best one-on-one date of the season which was the very first date when they went they're the only ones that have actually had a normal conversation everybody else is like Oh my gosh, it's still like pretty here. And like, and, yeah. and let me just tell you, I counted how many likes Courtney said in one of her little interviews, and it was like six. So she yeah. was all about that. Like, you should make like, like against the law. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, Candy. I was just teasing you. <laughs> it's just like, no, I'm sorry. You, no, you're right. Yes. I, I mean, KCB had that moment at the theater with Ben. I know. Mm-hmm. I think that put them together a little more, too. Like, yeah. seeing their baby pictures together and what they were like when they were younger. Like, and that's authentic, I think. So we'll see. You know, I, I have my own personal uh, bias why I don't think Casey should win. But <gasps> Really? So you can marry her? I don't want to marry her. But if there's a bachelorette, you never know. I may apply. Okay. No, Uh-oh. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to apply for you. We're going to send We're going to no, nominate you? <laughs> absolutely not. Uh-uh. Maybe if they have, yeah. like, the Latino bachelor or something, like, in Panama or something. Which brings us to next week, which they'll be in Panama, but we'll fill you in in a second. But let's go to the rose ceremony. What went down? Who didn't get a rose? And there was a shock in there. Uh, I was totally shocking. shocked. I was totally shocked. Like Lindsay? Totally Lindsay shocked. was fine. Lindsay was fine. I knew that Lindsay? was going to be fine. Lindsay looked beautiful tonight. Yeah, she did. She's pretty. I think she's really pretty. As long as she doesn't apply the makeup. Like, too heavily. She was wearing the makeup tonight. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. I just. She did better. She did better today. And Jamie's still there, and she still hasn't had a one-on-one. Jamie, who we know nothing about, like no connection we at don't all. Know anything. I'm telling you, there there's gonna be a story. Though next week, they'll she'll probably have they a one-on-one. They have to make it a story. Yeah, because they're holding on to her that long. So but he's, are they gonna make it a story and then have her sit, be sent home, kind of like a leaf? I th- maybe. Well, what's it gonna be next week? The spoiler for next week. With um, Casey S. Oh, with, with what goes down with that Casey is, S. Uh, what do you, what Hello? Do you think happens with that? I oh, think oh, like a death in the family? Yeah, it was either that or... That's what I thought. Either that or she busted her favorite Manolo, Manolo Blahniks or something, you know? Or maybe they found out like her journal and she was like, I'm only on it to win it too. <laughs> she is BFFs with oh, Courtney, no. so you never know. <laughs> but now, uh, and then and just a quick rundown on who got uh, roses. Lindsay, Jamie, Rachel, any thoughts? She didn't do much. Rachel, I can't believe she's still there. I would have knocked her off. Yeah. 
I think the problem is he's only he's only had to knock off one each week. And I think that may be, if there's not a death in the family, I think that he tells Chris <clears throat> Harrison to send KCS home. Really? Wait, what? What was that, Candon? Yeah. He he's gonna send KCS home if it's not a death in the if it's a death in the family. What? No, no, no. I think if like in the in the event that this that this whole th- issue with KCS happens to not be a death in the family or something, it has to be that Ben just realizes there's too many other girls that that are here that I know I want to pursue a future with, mm-hmm. and it's gonna take weeks at a time for them to you know be weeded out. I think he's trying to speed up the process because he realizes, like, there's maybe three or four here that I like, and the rest yeah. is just go ahead and go on home. <laughs> Speeding it up for Courtney. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kidding. I love it because it just gets under her skin so much if I just say, Courtney. Um, now, you know, Not that, calling Courtney. And that brings us to the next rose, which was Courtney. Yes, mm-hmm. she got a rose, so she moves on. And next week, it seems like all the girls are pulling in Emily. Where they're saying, you know, that they Courtney's all confront not, him. yeah, and he and he's starting to like freak out. Like, is she here for the right reasons? Is someone here for the right reasons? They don't. He doesn't say Courtney, but we'll see. And there's, so they're starting to tease it. Like the walls are starting to close in on Ben. Everything's getting a little tighter. You know what? Yeah. I am very, I'm very happy and scared that it's going to be KCB that that pulls this trigger on him because I don't want the same thing that happened to Emily to happen to KCB. However, I do think that KCB needs to stand up for herself. And, you know, I would do the same thing if I was seeing that happen, especially, I mean, I know she doesn't know about the skinny dipping, but mm. <laughs> if she did, then she would definitely need to uh, stand up for herself. We, we, and we glossed over one thing. When the girls were talking about, before the rose ceremony, about, has anyone ever skinny dipped before? Oh, she was terrible. Oh, oh my God. That, that was, was juicy. So <clears throat> That was sad. Yeah, because it was poor Jennifer that was bringing it up, that she was like, and who's skinny dipped? Oh, my God. And and it was almost like, it was, you know, what's going to happen to Jennifer that she's bringing this up and Courtney's just lifting her hand up. I've been skinny dipping and my ideal situation would be on the beach in Puerto Rico. <laughs> oh, shucks. Naked. Yeah, I mean, did the girls catch on to that? No. No, in no, the ocean. No, not at all. And yeah. I think that is so sad. Ugh. That's so, why I would have had so much more respect for him if he would have just said, like, hey, just want to let you guys know there was an incident last night. Something. So you think... Ama- I think they have a right to know. I think you should, you know, I can't believe that they didn't let that leak out and make it into a big drama. I think it never should have. It just never should have happened. He should have told Courtney, you know what, I really like you and I'm attracted to you, but this is very disrespectful to the rest of the girls that are here. Because he's totally acting different. But it's happened in other shows. Like, I, I always said... um, Bob Guinea, who was the sweetest bachelor, supposedly, of them all. He was the cute guy who was slightly overweight, and then he buffed up for the show. And <laughs> and he slept with the most girls out of any other any show. Fly, Mike Fly will say it himself. I want the numbers for all the shows, by the way. I don't, I don't, know, I don't know if I have the exact I numbers. I want to know how many Brad slept with. I don't know. Oh, really? I need to know. <laughs> she needs to for know. For my own closure. <laughs> so I can tap out of that one. <laughs> Maybe you don't want to know. Yeah, well, yeah, why would you want to know? There you no, go. you're just, right, I don't want to know. There we go. No, but, um, you know, it just, it happens. It happens on all, every season. When they get to the, especially when they get to the Bachelor suite, when there's like maybe three or four of them left, and there's that, he asks them for that, that the night in the in the suite. Yeah, but it's like one of them's going to get a proposal, and it's like the night before you proposed to me, you slept with somebody? Really? That's what, it's happened on other seasons. Like, that's, that's why. Bizarre. That's why they. It, it, why? Go ahead, finish that thought. That's why I don't believe in reality TV love. Oh. Ooh. You're, the, and we're going to cue that because actually we're going to be talking about <clears> that. We're, in our special segment, we're going to talk about is reality TV love real? We're, we're going like, to find no, out. We're teasing no, it's it. Not. But let's just let's finish, finish up with the girls. We have uh, KCS. She got a flower, of course. She got a rose. And Blakely making a comeback. Oh, yeah. my God. Yeah. What? You know what? Here's here's my opinion on the Blakely situation and why the person who ends up going home went home instead of Blakely. I think that 100% before the rose ceremony, he was sending Blakely home, and really? because she had not she had not come out of her shell in the past few weeks, and then I think when she hit him with that rock, he was like, oh, okay, I gotta rethink my you know rethink everything here and. 
I mean, I do appreciate that he he seems to be thinking like, okay, while I'm having fun with some of these girls, I need to think for my future. Like, who do I want to kind of be with for a long term and, and date, which I think he didn't see that in maybe the girl who went home, and maybe he does see it in the girl who should have went home, who's Emily, who should have went home. I know. But. I was about to say, he should have made Emily the sacrificial lamb. Yeah, which brings us in, and of course, Emily got the last one. But I wanted to get to who didn't get the rose. Jennifer. Jen. Yes. And I know, Kenan, you had you had strong feelings towards her because she was the best kisser in the house. Yeah, I ben. did. I thought that he really liked her. But you know what, JC? You called it, and you <laughs> you called it a couple weeks ago when you said that she would be gone soon because he was just trying to, you know, give her a superlative. And that seems to kind of be what happened. So then... And oh, sorry. I feel really bad. I, I, I just think it was really inappropriate for him to, like, kiss her and stuff and then send her home. So then does this just make Ben more of a villain as this as the show is evolving? Because we did say, see, whenever he was with Jen, and I just didn't feel the chemistry. I didn't. She's such an average Joe. But but the thing was that he oh, he kept telling her, because she needed reassurance. She'd come in to check in on Ben, and he'd say, you're the best kisser of the house. You're the best. You kiss know, me the best. I know, and she would lay on, like, I just really like you. I just really like you. And it's like, girls, girls, like... Right. So, I mean, he, he kept her on that hook saying, she, you know, she's like, I'm the best kisser, so he must obviously feel we something. Have a special connection. Right. And it was sad because um, I, I even wrote down, I, I wonder if the people, the bachelor people just really set up Jennifer just to be just this, like you said, a sacrificial lamb because she was, mm-hmm. she was really there for, for, for Ben. She was so genuine and you could tell this isn't her thing. But so boring. Right. I know. What she, does she bring to the table? You're asking me, uh, me or like, uh, what Ben? In, what interesting thing does she bring to the table? Like, oh, Jen's really neat because she can add. <laughs> oh, that's right. She was the one that had. She's an accountant. Like, well, I mean, but maybe there's just something about let, let's say because Ben supposedly he's looking for family values. He's looking for because yeah, I la- think that was the strongest thing about her. Yeah, because they she was she was she had a she was a big believer in her. You know, she was really close to her family and. Ben supposedly really close to his mom and his sister and with the loss of his dad. So that was kind of their tie. And maybe that would help carry in a perfect <laughs> world. Men would look beyond the, the physical looks and they would look at these type of issues. I mean, these type of traits when making a decision of being with a woman for the rest of their life. But no, we're just horn dogs and we like sexy girls. <laughs> <laughs> no, I commend all of the girls on The Bachelors. I mean, I'm saying what I say right now, but all of them, the strength it takes to get up there on, you know, national TV and be tweeted about and have all these comments made. I cannot made. imagine how difficult, like, I can't imagine how difficult it is for them. And yeah, and, I mean, it, it makes me sick even more so to think that they don't know what's actually going on. <laughs> yeah, it's really tough. Oh, guys, I'm so glad this is... But they a- don't let you forget that it's tough the whole show. Like, they're like, oh, this is so tough. Like, yeah. Yeah, that's what we're all saying. Like every season, like every new batch of people, like it sounds so, like torturous. Like I can't imagine. It's so interesting listening to you and Candon talk about it because I wonder if just if that's how women just feel all across the country watching the show because it's just getting so deep and dark. I and just women some feel let on and I mean what's like I mean how how they feel about the franchise. I mean why would you continue watching it? Is, is the hope that big? The hope of finding that person at the end? Why would you keep watching or why would you apply? Why would you keep watching? I'm just talking about, like, because you guys are fans. We're all fans. Right. And I'm, right. I'm talking about all the fans that watch the show. These women that are in North Carolina working their 9 to so 5. Bad. And the next, you know, tomorrow morning, what are they going to talk about? They're going to talk about The Bachelor. I don't know. Maybe it's one of those hurts so good things, you know, where it's like it hurts to watch. But it's... I mean, it kind of, it kind of maybe makes her appreciate what you have in a relationship. I don't know. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, we're getting knee deep. This is like the, a deep episode of The Bachelor, but <laughs> let's let's go to commercial, and we're going to come back, and we're going to talk about reality show dating on other shows, like using your expertise, Jenna Time. <laughs> okay. And with predictions right after the break. After Buzz TV. Hi. I was once like you, a lazy, angry loner whose only joy was watching TV and surfing the net. And, like you, after I'd see one of my favorite TV shows, I'd be so excited and have so many questions that I'd actually have to talk to my douchebag co-workers about it at the water cooler. Then, I discovered AfterBuzzTV.com. AfterBuzzTV produces after-show webcasts and podcasts for TV series of all kinds. 
like post-game wrap-up shows for all your favorite TV shows. AfterBuzz TV hosts are industry insiders who break down episodes of shows, take calls from fans, and interview cast and crew from each series with over 60 different after shows from Boardwalk Empire to American Idol to Vampire Diaries to Real Housewives and more. Now, after a night of TV, I can ignore my stupid co-workers, who I hate, and go straight to my desk and watch or listen to all my favorite AfterBuzz TV after shows and have all the TV fan interaction I need. Thank you, AfterBuzz TV. AfterBuzz TV. What do you want to buzz about? <laughs> all right, guys. We are back, and we want to move into like a little special segment, which is reality show dating how real is it and the reason you know jenna's here she she's doing an, an amazing job filling in for us but she's more than just a host she's actually <laughs> a intimacy and relationship experts but you know tell us a little bit about that how did did you go to school for this what uh, what got you to yeah i i think after a few failed relationships i was like you know what i know so much i should put up like a website and then i was like wait a sec I should probably get like some legit certification. <laughs> and so like within a few days, like I did some research and I was like, oh yeah, I'll be a therapist. Like this totally makes sense. And like literally within like three days, I applied to Pepperdine mm -hmm. and it was a fight to get in and I fought and I got into their marriage and family therapy program. And so then wow. I was like all on board to be like a therapist. And then like literally the last week of school, I was like, guys, I don't think I can do this. Like, I can't be, like, a full-time therapist. Like, I would, I have so much information because I specialize in sex therapy mm -hmm. that I was like, oh, no, 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 I Like, I have to, I have so much information. I think I would rather educate and do coaching, you know, which is really short-term problem solution and then help people that way. And so that's why I have Jenna time. And that's why I do the webisodes okay. is to educate people so they're, manip they're maneuvering through these situations easier, you know, because... Mm -hmm always says when you know better you do better and it's true and it's and it's 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 not a a mystery you know there's okay. you know if you do enough research you can really maneuver around a lot easier just tweak a few things well i'm really interested to see what your opinion is on all of this reality show dating and all the all your expertise on uh what happened in the ocean yeah so exactly so how how real do you think it is on these shows i mean can you genuinely form a lasting bond on any of these types of shows? Actually, you, let's even start with the show we're doing, The Bachelor. Like, out of all the couples, how many have stayed together? One. One, right? One, Tristan, one Tristan has, and Ryan. One has gotten married. But what about Molly and Jason? That's right. We yeah, have... that was kind of a that was kind of a fluke, though, because it wasn't. I mean, yeah, they met on the show, but he didn't choose her, and then he broke up with the other girl and went back to her and. You know, just some drama. I mean, who knows if they'll stay together forever. Well, what I teach on Jenna Time is intimacy, right? How do you get closer emotionally and physically, okay? Okay. So mm -hmm. I think that falling in love is not this, like, mysterious, magical thing, right? If you and I were to share some secrets mm -hmm. right now, if we were to stay in a closed room, just you and I, and we just started exchanging secrets for maybe a half hour, we would bond because mm -hmm. sure. we would be revealing, we would be a little emotionally naked, okay? And that's how we bond, right? Emotionally, right? So mm -hmm. I think that you can have authentic feelings on these reality TV shows. To make it last, I think there's a lot more that you need to pack into that suitcase, okay? Mm -hmm. I think you need to have shared interests. I'm not of the belief that opposites attract, you know? I think that the more you have in common, the longer you'll stay together. And mm -hmm. the more you can, and I think this is like the King Kong of everything I know, is that the couple that can teach each other things is the couple that will win, right? Because amen. Candid says that through, did you sneeze? No, I said amen. Oh, amen. Right? <laughs> yeah. So the couple, like, so if I'm teaching you something, mm -hmm. your like reward circuit pathway is like going off like crazy. You're like, oh my God, this is so neat. I'm learning something new. My brain loves this. And if I'm teaching you something, I'm like, oh, my God, I feel so good. I'm teaching him something. I feel like I'm doing something good. And then if you are doing that back to me and we keep tossing that back and mm -hmm. forth and our relationship stays interesting, we're going to stay together. OK, so do you see this? Do you see Ben having that those moments? Do they have does he have enough time on this show to have those moments with the other contestants or any in particular? 
No, I don't think anybody's interesting enough on the show to keep it together. With but I ben. don't think Ben's that interesting. And I, I lost a lot of respect for Ben tonight. Um, I think that, I mean, I don't know enough about KCB. I mean, she's obviously my top, mm-hmm. she's my top lady for this show, but, um, I don't, I don't think that in this short of amount of time that you can really do that. Mm-hmm. I have an old friend that told me that if you really want to be with someone, you have to see them through all seasons. And I believe that. And so I just don't, you know, I think that you need a full life cycle year, you like to see them through things. And even more than that, but I mean, people want to get married so quick and they, they get into that uh, romantic love phase mm-hmm. and it's so lustful and it lasts for about two years, you know, before it starts wearing down on us to where it's not so novel, you know? So it's like, if you can kick to be interesting, like Goldie Hawn always says about Kurt Russell, she's like, he, I never know what's going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> she's like, I never know what's going to come out of his mouth. He's so interesting. And I think that's the key. Like, if you can constantly, like, I read a lot. So I'm always reading something new. I'm always doing something new. I'm always learning mm-hmm. something. So I always have something to talk about. It's funny. You mentioned this. Uh, Candon would always, she always, who were you bringing up in, in, earlier this season with Ben? Was it Casey or was it? It was actually Casey. Well, one of them was Casey B because um, they had their first, little date you know and and she was teaching him how to twirl the baton and he was teaching her how to play the piano so that's funny that you brought that i had to bring that in because i um canon kept saying that they're teaching each other stuff and that's what it's about it's Mm -hmm. so true it was one of i mean that's like step 17 in dating No, but see, I, I'm glad because see, it, it just seems so dark right now. We're so we're in, and there's still. I'm betting on a glimmer of hope. I, <laughs> I, I I'm the rose tinted glasses guy. I think Ben is gonna end up with someone, and I, I. You think he's gonna end up with someone? I do. Really? I do. Okay. Yeah. Do you think they're Do you think they're still together now? Yes. Not after tonight. Someone is sleeping alone yeah. tonight. It's, Somebody is on the couch. It's either it's either gonna be. I'm gonna go. It's either gonna be Lindsay. Okay. Well, uh, we're, well, we're not um, we're not getting into predictions yet. Uh, actually, I guess we should. Let's just get into <laughs> predictions for next, what we see next week. And now you're after Buzz TV. Ken is laughing her butt off. It's <laughs> okay, guys. Now, what do we see here in the crystal ball, Canon, What do you see coming up? What do you see next week? And what do you see overall? Um, <laughs> next week, I'm a little bit I'm a little bit confused at what's going to happen with. Um, with Casey F. I mean, like I said, she's really sad about something. It's either going to be like a death in the family or he's just ready to send people home that he knows he's not going to be with forever. Mm -hmm. Um, It scares me that Casey B. is going to confront him about Courtney, even though I think it's time. I'm just worried about what his reaction is going to be. Next week, I mean, I'm just hoping that he really gets like down to the dirty, the good, the really good things that you need to have in a relationship, like the minimum requirements to be in a real relationship. But not just the lust and stuff, not just the skinny difference. Right. Fine. It's right. I mean, I guess you guys I just, are right. I'm just kind of scarred. But he also lost big points with me, so I'm not even like a fan of him. Like I don't think I don't think KCB should even end up with him. Okay, so that's what you're saying. You're, no, you... I don't think that. I don't think he deserves her. Yeah, she's too good for him. It's funny you say that. Uh, Monica, on her exit interview, she got booted last week. Uh-huh. She said that uh, Ben is not worthy of Casey, KCB. Oh, I didn't see that. Yeah. She, 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 and they always do an exit interview. Yeah. And she said, yeah, um, Ben's not worthy of KCB. I don't Bam, think right so. There. So what do, you think, what do you think, Jenna, next week and overall, what's going on? I think we potentially might lose our winner, Courtney. <laughs> Um, I think that I, I'll, I'm going to be really sad to see Casey S to go because I don't think she got enough face time. I think that I think that our two top runners are Casey B though and Lindsay. Casey B and Lindsay. Oh. Okay. Yeah. And I, I'm probably I I'm sticking to my my guns. It, it, they're interchangeable. It's although I don't think he deserves either one of them. God, Ben, I'm gonna, I got your back, Ben. I think you're gonna end up with KCB. I've been saying Courtney since week one. I've been saying like Courtney or Blakely. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with the dream. I'm gonna be the positive one of the group. <laughs> I'm going with KCB because they're, they're setting you up. He's a squirmy guy. No, like he's lost all. Yeah. Like, but the they're thing. setting us up. Think about it. 
if it keeps going this way who's gonna want to watch the last episode because they're gonna think he's a jerk and whatnot it's just like oh he's just he's his ego he's it's going it's like in, he's in super ego right now he's just, he is but this it's it's a setup this is how they do these shows think about it they showed casey b on the mountain and Lindsay on the mountain i That's think that it's between those two okay i'm yeah, yeah i'm right. going I'm going Courtney. I hope that you're right. I hope that you're right, Jenna, because <laughs> I think the top three are Lindsay, Courtney, and KCB. Hey, well, with that said, Candon, I thank you so much for staying up with us thank this you, weekend, Candon. this it was week, nice today. To meet you virtually. Yeah, Candon, where can they find I you? I wish I could be there with you. You guys can find me at Candon Bliss, and I will be back next week. I'm following. Yeah, we'll keep the seat warm for you. And Jenna, what about you? Where can they find you? I'm at Jenna Time Tweets. Nice, and you can always find me at The Everyday Man, and you can find us at AfterBuzz TV. We'll see you next week. Thanks, Bye. guys. Thanks, Jenna. Bye. Thank you. From producers Kevin Undergaro and Phil Svitek, engineer DJ Jesse Janity, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. If you have questions or comments, be sure to buzz us at info at AfterBuzzTV.com. And you can find us on Facebook or follow us on Twitter by searching for AfterBuzzTV. Buzz, buzz you later! later. <laughs> the views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzzTV or its owners or principals.